Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christy with Van On Company. It's Thursday, November 30th, last trading day here of November. And you did have that support show up once again into the wheat and corn market. Uh, wheat was not able to hold on the rest of the day, though. So shortly before closing, I'm talking like five minutes before closing, you really started to sell off that wheat market, closing just slightly lower on the day. Majority of the day, you did have Minneapolis wheat up about a penny to two, and then Chicago and Kansas City up anywhere from three to five cents. Corn market though, able to stay positive, up two and a half cents. Bean market from the get-go couldn't get much as you have improving conditions in South America, so down about six and a half cents there. Outside markets were a huge boost to these trading uh, markets for majority of the day with the Dow up anywhere from 300 to 400 points, probably on the heels of talks of tax reform. Uh, the dollar was down about 20 cents and crude floated around steady majority of the day. So that did give a boost to these markets. About midday, you saw great or meat markets start to really aggressively sell off. So live cattle down over two bucks, feeders down over three bucks. They came back closing just slightly lower on the day. So down about 50 cents on live cattle, down about a buck on feeders. And then lean hogs broke into the close as well, being down about a buck on the day. So overall, you traded kind of both sides of things. Export sales came out this morning they were dismal here into the corn and wheat market nothing good out of those uh, bean market was okay and then you saw a couple private sales this morning but it wasn't enough to offset those improving conditions in south america as well um, so moving forward what you're going to be watching is really just seeing what managed money decided to do from last tuesday to tuesday that will come out tomorrow we'll get that information and that'll give this market a, a little bit more news to trade on i do have to close with the disclaimer trading in futures and options involves risk loss and it's not suitable for all producers have a great day.